Okay guys, our third X axiom is neutrality uh, and I'm going to briefly uh, denote it by N. So it, uh, the, the basic idea is the following, all candidates should be treated equally. Well here, don't forget, the voting rule should uh, treat all candidates equally. So it's not about the election, uh, you know, all candidates are being treated equally in the election. No, we, we know that this is usually and in reality not the case. But the voting rule itself shouldn't favor any candidate, okay? Uh, and so they all should be treated equally. Well, how do we mathematically describe this? The description is very similar to the anonymity. Uh, fix any permutation, rho, I'm going to use a different notation than pi because pi was the permutation where we used to permute the voters. Here, rho is the permutation we use to permute the candidate. So rho is from y to y. It's a one-to-one -one and onto a function. Well, for any preference profile u on my restricted uh, preference domain u, uh, let u of rho be the preference profile such that, it's a permuted preference profile, such that for every voter i, ui rho, rho x, is nothing but ui of x. All right, so uh, the old x now becomes rho x, and so the utility of x is identical to the utility of this, uh, you know, the, the, the same alternative, but it's just called rho of x, okay? And this is true for any x in the set of alternatives y. Well then, if x is elected under this preference profile u, well then, you know what, um, under this uh, permuted preference profile u of rho, uh, rho of x should be elected, okay? Well, namely, suppose we start with a profile u, and we permute the candidates, the alternatives, so that candidate X becomes Y, Y becomes Z, and so on and so forth, and we permute the voters' preferences, uh, utilities for the candidates correspondingly. Well then, assuming that obviously this resulting profile is also in our restricted domain of preferences, well then, if X was winning originally, now the permuted version of x, which is now called y, should be the winner uh, under this uh, permutation. Okay, so once again, let me try to give you a, an example and hopefully it clears uh, the air. And so here I'm going to use a very simple example. I have one, two, three uh, voters, three alternatives or candidates, A, B, C, B, C, A, B, A, C, all right? And here's the permutation I'm going to use. So the A, I'm going to call it B, the B, I'm going to call it C, and then C, I'm going to call it A. Well, there are a bunch of other permutations, I know. Uh, this property should hold for all the permutations, okay? So here, once I permute this, what does that mean? So this is, remember, u. So now what is u rho? Uh, well, agent one, two, and three, the names of the voters this time stays the same. Well, remember, agent one used to prefer a to b, but now a became b. So therefore, that means b is preferred to c, because b is now c, and then c is a. Okay, well, agent two used to prefer B to C, but B is C, and C is A, and then A is B, all right? And then what's uh, agent three? Agent three says uh, B, but B is now C, is called now C, A is now called uh, B, and then C is now called A. Okay, uh, I mean, here, if you look at it, this profile and this profile are not identical, right? Here, for example, B gets two votes, A gets only one vote, uh, you know, the top. Here, however, C gets top, uh, you know, uh, uh, top vote uh, for two voters and B gets 
uh, only one vote. So if we are going to apply plurality, for example, here the B is the winner, here the C is the winner, but remember C is the old B. And so this is exactly what uh, this property says. So if this rule is selecting, for example, B here, all right, well, you know what? It should select the new B, uh, I'm sorry, the, old, so B is now C, so it should select C here. All right. Remember, if plurality is the rule, it selects B here and selects C here. Well, if we apply another rule, okay, whatever it is, if, for example, A is selected here, well, fine, because this is an if-then statement. If this is false, I don't care if this is true or false. But if this is true, meaning if A is selected here, well, then, according to this permutation, B should be selected here. All right? And again, this has to hold uh, for every uh, permutation and for any preference profile, okay? This is what neutrality is. And I hope that was clear.